All right, time to pull up in Montgomery, Alabama, and talk to the number 12 draft pick in the draft, the number one wide receiver taken in the draft, Alabama national mm. champion wide receiver Henry Ruggs, now a member of the Las Vegas Raiders. Uh, if you've somehow forgotten Henry Ruggs on draft night, he was wearing an Old Spice ro uh, robe. Henry, yeah. <laughs> what were you saying with your draft night attire? What what was that? What was the messaging <laughs> behind that role? Uh, I mean, it was a couple of different things. I mean, the biggest thing was I was just trying to get the image. I, I was at home with family. I was comfortable. But also, I was partnering with Old Spice and just trying to get that message out that there was no way. You know, $320,000 to United Way for underprivileged families. And, um, you know, on behalf of rookies. So, you know, what, what, what other way to get the word out than, you know, to do something different? All right, the draft has been getting a lot of attention because of the new experience, the virtual draft. A lot of players shown at their home rather than being at the draft site. Did you enjoy the home experience, or would you have preferred to be on site, walking on stage, hugging Roger Goodell? Uh, it definitely has pros and cons. My my biggest thing was I was at home. You know, I got to celebrate with my family, and of course, you know, yeah, I got to see you know more of them. But of course, I wanted to be there, and just have that experience around the fans, and even bust out a suit. It was a deep receiver draft, and you weren't projected by most to go first as receiver in this draft, but you did. Why do you think you went first amongst receivers? Um, I mean, I feel like, you know, I feel like, you know, I'm a great football player and, you know, I'm a great receiver. I can do, you know, just, just as good as all the other guys. And of course my numbers didn't, didn't say the same thing as the others, but I feel like, you know, I, I did what I could do with the, with the, the minimal numbers that I did have. And I just, you know, they, they, they kind of saw that on my film. Now, is there a friendly rivalry between you and Jerry Judy, who a lot of people thought was going to go ahead of you? You been having some fun with that? Um, I mean, now nah, nah, the biggest thing was just just making each other better. So, I mean, we compete in the room every day, you know, so it wouldn't, ain't no no feeling of hate, you know, towards each other trying to see who goes first. It was more so just, I mean, it's, it's a little friendly competition just to see, but, you know, we just making each other better every day and making sure we stay on our toes. <laughs> and now growing up, you were having hoop dreams, playing basketball, running track, and they had to talk you into football. And look at you now. I'm glad they did talk you into it, but why did they have to talk you into it? Man, they had to trick me into it, honestly. Because, I mean, the coach told me oh. I'd come out and just do kick return. So I was just like, I man, I guess I'd come out, you know, give me about six, you know, six returns or something in a game or just do something like that. And while I was out there, I was just doing receiver drills, so I just wouldn't be standing around, and eventually I just got into it, but it wouldn't, I mean, it was never on my mind when I got to high school. I always loved basketball. I was getting better at it. I saw my progress, and it was just like, I mean, why even go that direction when I see myself growing and I know I can do something in basketball? Talking about go transitioning to football, your best friend, Roderick Scott, played a role in convincing you to commit to football. Roderick, of course, died tragically in a car accident. You throw up three fingers and honor him every time you score a touchdown. Share with us your relationship with Roger, Roderick Scott, the role he played in your life, and why you try to honor him every time you score a touchdown. Well, it, it pretty much just started, you know, in elementary school. We was just, you know, at the wild all the time, just playing pickup basketball before school. And, you know, eventually when we got to high school, he came to my high school and we just got close. And, you know, he, he just saw he saw that I wanted to be, you know, one of the best. And, of course, he always wanted to be the best. So he just took me in and, and just took me in as, as a brother, not only as a teammate. And we just, you know, we kind of clicked from there and became, you know, best friends, brothers. Even, you know, people would say we were twins and we just kind of embraced it from there. And, you know, he was just... He was just one that never let me sit down and, and do nothing. You know, if I'm just sitting at home, it can be 1130 at night on a school night. You know, he'll just come over and come get me. And my mom be like, you know, why are you leaving the house this late? And he'll just be like, don't worry about this damn mile. And we can do that for, you know, we did that for two, three weeks straight sometimes. 
Hey, you got to work out and prepare for the draft with Randy Moss. What was that like? That was, that was crazy. I mean, it was just to see, you know, somebody that you watched on TV and looked up to as a kid, you know, out there just giving you hands-on tips, that's that's something big for me. And it just, it just makes you want to even focus in more because, you know, if you get somebody like that to compliment you, that only makes you even more confident in what you can do in yourself. Well, you're being compared to Tyreek Hill since you're now in the NFL. Woo, that's a good comparison. How you feel about it when you hear yeah. that comparison? I mean, I feel good. I feel like, you know, it shows that, you know, people have, have faith in me and know, you know, know that I can do similar things to what he's done. And it's just like, you know, it just shows that that I, I can't, you know, I'm, I'm more than just, just a speed guy and I can actually do different things on the field. Hey, man, love this T-shirt. I think that's a personal Henry Ruggs logo. Tell us about yeah, it. How did yeah. that come about? Yeah. I just I just wanted to do something different. You know, I had to have something for myself. And, you know, I wanted to have, give it that fast look. That's why it's kind of italicized. It's giving that, you know, that, that speed look. But you know, I, always, I always gave all my list for HR3 and... You know, me and, and my marketing team, you know, we just came up with different images and different pictures. And now, you know, we came up with different. We finalized it with this one, and we're going to get it we're gonna get it going in the next couple of days or so. Just try to get some merchandise out so the fans can get it. All right, well, they're comparing you to Tyreek Hill, as Marcellus just referenced. So the HR, you're going to be a home run hitter. Henry Ruggs, the home run hitter, <laughs> scoring from anywhere on the field. Yeah. Las Vegas Raiders, like next that. superstar with John Gruden. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Speak for Yourself or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.